Hello everyone and welcome to another episode here of the FM23 BSC Young Boys series here on the channel as we try to win a Champions League with the under 21 squad. I guess 21 and under squad as uh, I always like to say just 21 under but yeah they just have to be 21 and under. But uh, yeah for this episode this is going to be the end of season 3. Sure the goal of wanting to be into the Champions League and winning it all. It's failed us as far as we lost in the round of 16 to, to Lazio. And uh, Lazio are actually in the finals, I believe, or close to it. I think they're in the semifinals against Barcelona. So that's that's pretty cool to think that we lost to a team that made it all the way to the semifinals. But for this, we get to see the Schweizer Cup final and also the Super League final. And it's against Basel, you can see here with our fixtures. We are going to play them five times in a row. A lot of Basel. A whole lot of Basel. As far as kind of recapping what has happened since the last time you saw us. So yeah, the, the Lazio loss. Brutal. <laughs> we actually <laughs> played Basel here. Had a 2-2 draw and basically played out the rest of the uh, Super Champions group. Uh, the Championship group. Which, funny enough, this was a huge game. This uh, Champions ship group game against Basel. They had one more game. They had, they played St. Gallen after this. We were tied at going into it. As far as we were going into it with points, tied, we needed a game to where we need to win against Basel. We need to either win or draw to stay in it. Luckily for us, the, you know, with the draw, they end up losing the St. Gallen. So we still finished first, but we tied. So it doesn't it didn't really matter cuz as far as you Either way, you're going to finish first or second. You're going to make it to the Champions Playoff, which we did. And uh, we won 2-1 in the first leg on the road, which we uh, we played really, really well in that game. Uh, we played much better than we did at home, which was just kind of funny. Uh, 20 shots, 5 on target, an XG of 3. Can't believe Oscar's penalty didn't get you know past the keeper, but luckily it, you know we still get the win because that would just been nice. You, you hate leaving uh, a point on the board like that, especially in this in this uh, you know, playoff setting with the three different legs. But, yeah, I mean, you could see the possession. Who cares about possession if you're scoring and shooting 20 times a game? A lot of our shots did come from around this area, just outside the box, just inside the box. Not a whole lot of great shots as a whole. But uh, the great thing about us is really with Basil, they only have one guy, and that's Brady. And that's Bradley Frank. Uh, Bradley Fink, Jesus. As uh, he, every time we play against him, he scores. He's got like three goals in the past four games against us. He, he's just—he's always going to find the back of the net. He scored in this game too. This was a brutal game, though. There was a lot of controversy around this game. Uh, as far as we were up to one, right at this game, all uh, right, this game, right at this goal with uh, Sene here, he was probably a good two feet off sides, but they still ruled him on side. Brutal, brutal way to go down to a draw, but you can see again the match momentum very much in our favor. We didn't take as many shots this time, but our uh, as far as the possession, actually, <laughs> I was looking over here, wrong side. As uh, the again, just the uh, on target percentage was not there, but it's crazy to think we had two shots on target and two of them went in. If we can just get a little bit more on the on target side of things, we'll be perfect against Basel. We'll be absolutely perfect. It's crazy to think. That uh, the last time we lost to them was seven games ago. And that's, that's a long time. A long, long time. It was last year. It's the first game last year. Obviously a much different team for us. Uh, this And also, to get to this final, this Schweizer Cup semifinal game was the craziest game I think I've had in uh, this FM23. Not only just this series, but all the series that I've done on the channel. Absolutely insane. So we get a red card here at the 75th minute. And uh, we're all tied up and just like, ah, brutal that it, it's going to potentially go into extra time. We might even blow it going into extra time. What a way to lose out, right? So not even 15 minutes later. Actually, we're around 14 minutes to be exact. They get an injury and they have used all their subs. So they go down a man too. So we're basically playing 10 on 10 football for the rest of the game. We make it past the extra time halftime. It's still tied at nil-nil. And it's just like, fuck you. Because you're really struggling. Once you get into the extra time, it starts to th to become like, we can't really make 
a poor substitution in the fact that we don't want to sub somebody on at the bad penalty taker because we know we're eventually going to have to get into penalties if we hang on to either a draw. So you don't want to go full steam ahead with that. They get a goal, and it's just like, ah, shit. You know, we got to do something. We literally put five guys up front, hope for the best, but on very attacking, and Alexander Vavich, 18-year-old Australian, comes up big with a major goal, and you see with the penalties, it was 5-3. to three. We made all of our penalty shots. It was, you know, Mbamba, Oscar, Carbani, Alexander scored again, and then uh, Brody Hughes scored on the final one, which was so funny because it was like the shittiest shot ever, but the keeper just stayed right in the net and didn't really move. Yeah, just, I mean, Mickey Van Sass with the big save over Aldrich's shot sent us to the finals. This was a, a hell of a game, though. <laughs> we uh, really burnt the... Uh, the candle at both ends, and we had to play him again. After just a couple of days, like 72 hours, I had to play him again. Luckily, this time is a 2-0 victory. We beat him down pretty bad. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is uh, pretty wild to think. The only time we've lost to a Swiss team was St. Gall and Zurich. But that Zurich loss was nuts. That 4-0 loss, that was, that was crazy. And even then, uh, you know, as far as the last time we lost after that was uh, the Aru game, and then also uh, Zion. Yeah, but wild and St. Gallen again. Because, yeah, St. Gallen, we always have a hard time against them. I'm very, very happy that we don't have to play uh, St. Gallen in the finals. Because we almost had to. It came down to Basel and St. Gallen. But they uh, they beat them that time. They lost to them, of course, in the championship group. But they beat them to get into the finals. So to make it five straight games against Basel is going to be interesting. You're going to see for this episode this final and then the home game. Because I think if we can push it past. Let's say, if we get another 3-1 or 3-2 or 2-0 victory, it should be out of reach. Should be for that third game, so we don't have to play it for you guys. You know, be pretty much over with, and you guys won't have to really see that much of it. I mean, it would be cool to see us win at all, but it will it would already be kind of set in stone type of thing. The big thing for this game is uh, we're going to do the exact same strategy we did in the previous game, which is going to be pretty interesting, but you see there, Oscar's not starting. Reason why. I want to make sure he's fresh. He's the most important guy. Sure, it'd be great to win the Schweizer Cup, and it'd be great to win the Swiss Super League in the same calendar year. Be great, right? I think we could still do it, even without him. Even with uh, our best player on the bench, for at least the first half of the game. We might bring him on in the second half in case, you know, something crazy happens, but just... With what we do with this direct counterattack, it just works so well. Everything's kind of clicking right now. You can see here, the back three, Nobody Collins is back healthy again. Uh, just him, Phillips, and Amendup have such a great partnership. Uh, as far as uh, Sab and Carbani, they play well on the right side. You're probably going to see a lot of them today. Uh, they seem to, as far as Basil, can't seem to figure them out. Uh, that's Teo and Majic on the left side. They have an alright partnership. I'm hoping it gets better throughout the... Well, Teo's going to be leaving us anyways because he turns 21. And after you know the, the extended of the loan, it's not going to happen either. So that's uh, that's another thing too. So same thing with Nominee Collins. He's not going to come back either, unfortunately. As, yeah, he'll be, uh, he'll be leaving us. But Carbani's coming back though, which is great. Because he'll be... We'll have him for at least a year and then a little bit more than that. So that's going to be nice. It's going to be nice to see uh, about basically a year and a half. That's going to be awesome. Awesome to have. So, yeah, that's the plan going into this game, uh, of course. Uh, you know, as far as with this, it's a major, major game. Major, major game. The big thing. I'm going to go with the uh, opposition instructions, just kind of thinking about it. And I think that's the right call. Will, uh, man, it, this, is, um, this is interesting because I think I was going to want to see. What's going on? Um, yeah, let's go all matches, I guess. Fuck it. You know, let's uh, look at the... I think we'll it will go here and kind of... Oh, man, it's... You know, Nobody Cons, he's not fully fit. He can only play about 45. Let's have Mbamba start. Fuck it, we'll, we'll do that. Mbamba as a central defender is fine, but I think we kind of need a ball-playing defender. And plus on this right side, too, I think it's going to help us out a lot. Ah, uh, Muzambo is, is fine where he's at. 
I kind of want to see just what we'd look like with a front five. So that way, it's a 5-5. Five five. It's a very weird... We'll probably actually go with a... Yeah, that way it's a, just a 4. And we'll have Mbamba. Because a 5-5 five five is just hilarious. But I don't think that's the play. I think at least with this... It's a. It's still like a technically a 5-5. Five five, but it's just a little different. We'll have Oscar start now. Or we could even just go to advanced forwards... Yeah, we might go... Let's see. Now, Fatwa. Let's actually yeah, let's change this around. We're, I'm just kind of toying with a lot of stuff. Because here's the thing. I know we just had a great game against it. But it was seven days ago. So what you would think, if logic plays into a factor here, what you think they would, you think they would completely change how they played against us. Now, that's, you know, an idea for sure. The big thing for us is we gotta be strong back here. If we're not strong up here, it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we'll have Mozambo start. I think that's the right call. And Aminda can play there. Yeah, sure. I think that's, uh, that's probably for the best. I'm the, Really, the big thing I'm worried about is here, is Ashton. Because I think his penalty, yeah, it's only five. Let's see what news has is. We'll just go ahead and make the move. Okay, it is. He's, he's penalties way better. Because it might come down to that. Because Modric is pretty solid. Yeah, 10. Corbani's got the best. Yeah, this is... Uh, I think this is what we're going to run with. It's a little different. Hmm. The ball covering long distance. I, you know, it's tough because I think, uh, let's go more direct. I think we have to be a wider team. I just, I think that's the play. Because if we go narrow, I don't think it's going to work. Oh, well, they're like, oh, it's still. I just, I think, because they play narrow. But if we go narrow too now, hold, hold on here. Let's just kind of see something. If we go narrow... If we trap inside, and we go higher as well, we're going to give a lot of room to us in. Let's go stuck in, too. Let's, I mean, we're sending it. We're going to be a high-intensity team. Yeah, this is, uh, we ain't fucking around. Yeah, we ain't fucking around. All right, well, I guess that's what we're doing. Fuck it. <laughs> We have completely changed what we're doing. Uh, just in a mere matter of, what, 10 minutes, if that? I mean, fuck it. Absolutely fucking... I think that's the best case scenario, though. Because, listen, I, I know we have the league phase, the, the rest of the playoffs, right? We have, you know, games two and three left. Oh, this is... Go out there and win a goddamn trophy, boys. This is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. Yep. Going with a different system. Fuck them. Uh, oh, yeah. We got to keep Bradley Fink in check. <sighs> yeah, everyone's going to love a gold fest, though. It's seven in a row, though, unbeaten. But I'm sure they're itching to stop that streak with this game here. But a front five and a back five. Very odd. Very, very even Steven, if you will. But... As far as what they do, they look to obviously play through the middle. Hopefully we can stop them, though. That's the, uh... <laughs> easier said than done, though. No. Easier said than done. I think with this system, we might even be better off to just go with a straight-up... Um, vertical tiki taka. That might be the better play here. We'll see, though. We'll see. We're going narrow, though. So far, so good. <laughs> Which, I mean, obviously, <laughs> only 15 seconds in. You really can't fuck shit up too badly. Uh, Muzambo, yeah, he's too small. Fuck, he, he's just too small to win the ball back in the middle. But, boy, when he is able to dribble with it and pass with it, that, that's going to work out well. But he's just giving up too much size. Modric hopefully can get there. He does. 
Oh, man. I thought that was going to go in for a second. I thought that was dropping in, but it drops back. That was fascinating to, to kind of see. That was so close to the goal. Oh, God, sad. But I thought I'd say, what the fuck are we doing? Thank God that went pretty, pretty well. Oscar hopefully wins this. He does not. Sab's there, though. God damn it. Malar wins it back. All that hard work for nothing. i will throw in now. So far, it's still been 50-50, but I'm sure that's going to change. Because I think with this game, we got to score early. Got to score early. Got to score often if we can. Oh, man. I just... I'm not liking that we're... I think we're being a little too passive here in the back. Yeah, I'm not liking that. Oh, boy. Hopefully he's off. I, yeah, he looked off. Call it. Thank you. Fuck it. Let's go attacking. Or at least go positive. We'll go positive first. Because I think the way we're going to play, we need them to be kind of full tilt out there. Playing full tilt, playing fast and loose. Hopefully it's not too fast and loose to where we pick up a red. But uh, that's uh, what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to side with with that. Oh, fuck, Bradley Fink. Okay, that's a tough, tough, tough shot for him to make. But, yeah, 90 pass completion. 66 for us, so at least it's, it's getting there. But it needs to be a lot higher than that. Oh, man. I just think the best case scenario is to get to a to the shootout. It's the best case scenario. Fuck, that's a corner. Fuck it. Let's go short with it. Much shorter. Fuck it. Let's see how that goes. I am just uh, I'm dumbfounded of, of what uh, what I've seen from the team. I know a lot of shit has changed compared to the past couple of games we've played, but. This just, uh, just, it, it's not there. It's just not there to what I want. We need to be a more aggressive bunch if we want to beat this Basel team. We gotta be on them full fucking tilt. From the opening whistle, Majic can win that. Thank God. He's really been the best guy in the air today from the forward side. Garcia with a good chance. Thank God it's not anywhere close to going in yet. Ten minutes, no goals. I think that kind of shows you what type of game this has been. It's not been our game. I think they were preparing for us to be able to counterattack. And uh, that's certainly been the case. Tail misses that. Brutal. He gets that, though. Still inbounds, though. And we're not there to stop him. Trying to make it tough on him. Trying. Attaboy, Oscar. That's what I need. That's what we need. A Ford's coming up, making that tackle, and we still have enough to make a counterattack here, potentially. Mozambo, beautiful pass. Alexander, please make it. That's a tough shot. Tough, tough shot. It'll be a corner. I just, um, you know, defensively, I don't know what it is. We just cannot beat them with what they're doing. So they just, I mean, they got a, you know, the back four with a DM. But the, just the guys in the middle, the Mazal and the roaming midfielder, are doing their parts. Everything just seems to be working out for them. Compared to us, you know, but uh, we'll, see. we'll see. That's a hell of a shot. That is a hell of a shot. That zipped right on in. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're giving up a lot in the middle here, but I, I, again, I think it's for the best. I really, really do. And Oscar loses that, but it's going to be a throw-in. Going to be a throw-in. We're doing a pretty good job now. I think some of those changes helped us out a little bit, playing a more, as far as a, a, a you know small ball approach, making the easy passes, not trying to force anything, because we're just not that good of a team in, out of the air. Right now we are. We just helped us out a lot. We're, we're making good chances. Ah, that's a... We can't have that, though. That's a great tackle, though, from Teo to win the ball back. Zombo's there. 
Teteo Sinanit Fock. Yeah, it's brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. We haven't won a single part of Momentum, too. Which is just brutal to see. Malar saves it before it goes out of bounds. That's a hell of a pass, too. So much free use space. Get in front of it, please. Thank you, Mickey Van Zass, for making a great save. Oh, man. I mean, our XG's, well, it was higher until that shot. Oh, God. So, yeah, Basil now. They're looking to send it. Fuck it. We're going to send it, too. It's a great job. Yep, that's a great job. That's what our defense is all about. It's not a great clearance. Did, uh... I'm trying to think what else we can do. Let's, uh, let's try out wide. Let's go fairly wide. Let's try that on. Because we need to be able to at least... Stop them from pushing the ball up the field. So if we make sure they have less shots because we're, you know, we're playing out wide, that'll be great. I mean, shit, we might even. Uh, we're we're kind of all over the place here. Uh, let's let's go with. Bump the time wasting up. Bump it up to sometimes. Might as well, right? Might as well. Oh, Majic with a good pass. Potentially, yeah, fuck. Just sucks because they're doing a really, really good job of being able to push the ball back up the pitch. Oh, it's a fucking easy one-on-one. -on -one. Bradley Fink, please miss it. God damn it. Oh, man. Yeah, they... They're doing a good job as far as countering what we counter. So, let's go with our vertical tiki taka. Let's have, let's see, I think Alexander, where's he at? Oh, and there he is. Here. Hold on. Fuck. Let's pause it. There we go, so we can change this all around. So, yes. Alexander up here. Ozombo here. I was to say, where's... Oh, no, um... Oh, he's uh, 49, that's right, 49.69. All right, all right. That's a little four one five. It's gonna do for now. Let's have Tail be attacking. Let's have Oscar. It's weird because he's kind of great as a false nine, but I don't think we really need that right now. Mozambo is a an advanced playmaker. Is probably the best call. I'll go advanced forwards. However, I mean, we're just kind of throwing shit at the wall here, but we need goals. We need goals now. We've kind of put ourselves in a unique situation. Let's bump it up to at least higher. We'll make sure no one's stuck on or anything anymore. Sure, we'll go with the tempo change and all that fucking shit. Yeah, usually when we play from the right, it does well, but I'm just going to take all that off because... I don't think it's going to help us out today. I just not looking like Sab and Carbani are, are playing well. We need to get it to Oscar and just hope for the best. Because once they switched to attacking, it was over. We couldn't stop them. So as long as we play with the ball, we make the right passes. So far, it's been doing pretty well. Well, the shorter approach might not be the best idea, though. We'll see. Doing a good job sending it up the pitch. Never mind. That's a great pal. Uh, uh, if this could go through, ah, it's too far. God damn it. Possession battles gone pretty well, though. Again, our just our average positioning. It's been way too low. Been way, way too low. Let's see if we can change Mbamba. Because he's a ball-winning midfielder. We don't need that. We need help up front. The fact that we have five people attacking and no one can get somehow past their defensive line is crazy. Oh my god, I thought we had it there. You know, we're pushing the 
pushing the back nine, or pack nine, we're pushing the back four, and we still can't make them have a mistake. There we go. Majic. Sending it to Garbani across the pitch. He no way he's winning that. But we're there for Sab. Sab to Garbani. Good pass. Good pass from Garbani. Could make this 1-1. Nope. And uh, Muzambo's too small for that cross. Sab looking for something else to Majic. He's the guy to go for on. It's wide. Fuck. Yeah. It's weird that Muzambo's got a 6.9 because... Really what he's been doing hasn't helped us out a whole lot today from what it seems like. Yeah, that was just, they made that look easy. Made it look easy. Bradley Fink, luckily, gets taken away. It seems like they're playing pretty wide now, too, now. So now it's... We might have to play a little narrow. Since they want to play that way, maybe they're wide because we're wide, though, at the same time. So we, we might have caused this problem. Not a boy in Bamba. I feel like Majic is too far out wide, but there we go. To tail the Majic. He's got a good chance. Brilliant save. It's a good shot, though. It's a good shot. We, uh, we, well, I mean, the, the heading battle is actually won by us now, so that's that's a good sign, but again, we need a goal. Oscar, hopefully wins this. Fuck, man. It was just him and Slugga, and Slugga somehow wins it. Man, just a fucking shitty clearance. God damn it. God damn it. I mean, we're playing pretty well. I think we're gonna go with attacking, though, instead of positive. We're actually doing well, as far as momentum-wise, until... That clearance. Are we... Are we pressing? So, I mean, it just seems like we're not. Ah, the boy Amanda. I'm gonna change that while we're... Uh, the opposition, I think, is what we need. Yes, we need to press. Always press. God damn it. Yep, press the keeper. Press him. Fucking press the DM for all I care. Make it hard on them. Just go hard tackle. Hard tackle. Hard tackle on the back nine. Alright. All right. <laughs> Did it again? Back nine. That was back. Oh, as a back four. Because we, we just need urgency. We need urgency. We need them to be making mistakes. We have so many guys up front to where we can make them miss. And hopefully it works out. At least that's the plan. That's a corner. You know, we got a Bamba out there. We got a Minda and Phillips. We got guys that can win that heading battle. It's just not happening. We have guys that should be scoring. And it's not happening either. But at least it's close with shots and on target. But again, we're just losing out on that battle. Oscar to Mozambo. Mozambo, hopefully with a good pass. Well, just to Phillips. To Teo. Well, fuck, now they're going the other way. Ah, man. Man, oh man. And Bomba's average positioning, again, is just so far back. It's not really helping us out today. Maybe have him be in the middle? Maybe that might, might be the option for us. Oh my god, what a send from Amenda. Oscar hopefully wins that. He does not. It just, it's weird. Again, Muzambo, he's too small to be making... Big time plays, it seems like. Maybe Muzamba should be a roaming midfielder back there. Maybe that's the call. Oh, Pat Phillips. Good shit. 32 minutes in. We still need that goal. If we can get it. Phillips wins that back. Ah, oh, it's a fucking... Man, you're gonna stop the ball there. We had it. We fucking had it. Alright. Just, I mean, the way that Muzambo's playing. feel like if we bump that up, this up. Yeah, I think just the way we're going to play. I think it's going to help us out a lot. Deep line playmaker in the midfield. Because we need Mbamba out there. So, I'll just... 
We'll run with that. We'll run with that. Fuck it. We're trying everything. We're trying damn near everything. Oh, God. Oh, thank God. Maybe Mbamba should be the back, and we should have a back three. Back there. That might be the call. We'll see. We'll see how they play it as a... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Mbamba, you are now back here. Now, at least Mickey Van Sass, I think, made the save. That's a go kick anyways. Yes, yeah, Mbamba, you will be the ball-playing defender. I believe we might even have you be the stopper. Nope, defend. We could use some stoppers, but... This is not, not in the game plan. If they still want to push forward, we're doing a better job since we switched to this approach, this vertical tiki-taka. We're making the, you know, good passes, we're, we're dominating possession, weirdly enough. Thought that was gonna go in, now I was about to lose my shit. Uh, but it does not go in. Yeah, 53, 54%, I think we have a chance to tie it up. I really do, I think we're playing really well. I'm liking the average positioning now. We're kind of forming this little diamond. Liking it. We just need to find the back of the net. Sab is there. Please make a good pass. God damn it, man. It just I feel like we're just not passing the way we should. What a fucking save. That went right to him. That was fascinating. Off the deflection. I mean, we're just trying everything. We're, we're just throwing shit at the wall and hoping it sticks. But so far, I think we finally found something. Modric hopefully makes a good pass here. He does. And a better save. Unreal. Should be 1-1. <laughs> brutal. Absolutely brutal. We're not fouling as much, though, which is interesting, because I want us to really push the pace. But it just hasn't happened. Yeah, it's not happening. Ashley Phillips wins that. Garbani. Ah, oh, fuck. Zombo. Oscar win it. God damn it. And Garcia's gonna keep it in bounds. Fuck, man. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Hey, we got more shots, more on target. We got higher XG. We're just playing. We're playing really well. Just not in the cards for this game. We had a slow start, but I think the second half's gonna go our way. I really do. Really, really do. That was very, very close. I think Mbamba being in the back works out really well. Sab and Carbani are playing like shit. And I think we'll probably have to take Sab off. It's just this game's too physical for him, which is weird because he played pretty well in the past previous two games that we've played against Basil. But I guess this one was just the one that broke him. Malar probably going to send it to Bradley Fink to end out this half. Thank God that's a terrible pass. Thank God Teo is there. I hate that pass to Mickey Van's ass, but it is what it is, because there's only a minute left in the half. And it sucks, too, because they're going to start off with the ball. If we would have started with this, uh, vertical tiki-taka, when we started with the ball, we might have scored first. We might have been able to, to hang on to, this, to a lead, and it, it just... Uh, it's weird that we're getting a lot of shots here on the left side, but not really on the right. Yeah, that was really only Oscar's shot. Sucks that we couldn't stop Riley Fink, but again, it seems like we can never stop him. Yeah, maybe that helped us out a little bit. A couple guys, a lot of some anxious, some frustration. We uh, We just need something. We need something to go our way. Here in this second half. Not even asking for a win. Push it to extras. That's all I ask for. Because I think we got a pretty good penalty taking team out there. It's pretty, pretty good. It, it's weird because I don't even know what I would want to sub on at this rate. Because part of me is like, do we bring on Fatua to add more speed out there? Have him play in the middle and then 
have Modric be another forward or something, or, you know, have two attacking midfielders and two strikers. Like, there's just... Something's got to give. Something's got to give. And I think the way we are playing right now, it's not out wide. We're not winning the headers as much as we should. The only time we're winning anything is if we take a, you know, pass... Oh, oh, it's, oh it is a penalty! Come on, ref. Come on, VAR. Bail us out. Might be 1-1 right now. No one our luck will miss it. <laughs> we got a lot of great penalty guys, and Bamba's a pretty good penalty guy. Oscar is too. See, they're going to give it to us, though. They might not even give it to us. See what we get. Ah! Fuck! Well, shit. So, as far as uh, what we can do here, hopefully Sab snags that down, he does. It's uh, It's been a fascinating game. Because Teo's playing well as a wing back here on the left side. But Sab is not playing well at all. If Teo can get a good cross here, ah, oh, fuck. Almost on top of the box, shoot it! Fucking, that was it. That was it. Slugger was out of the box. Ah, oh, man. That was it. Yeah, that's brutal. Ah, oh, free kick. Come on, boys. Clear it off the line. Attaboy and Bomba. Man, oh, man. I've still got time, though. Still got time. Don't want to panic. Don't, don't want to panic. As long as we just keep pressing. We keep pressing. We keep making it difficult. I'm like, we are in it right now. That's going to help us out in the long run. Because eventually they're going to make a mistake. I just know it. Maybe not. That's a hell of a pass. Garcia's got a good chance for the cross. Bradley Fink scores. Two. Nil. Hopefully that was going to get called off, but I guess not. I hoping he was off. Well, shit. Let's, uh... Let's go very attacking. Since we need now two goals. Can't believe that. Man, yeah, he's just on. Thought he was off there for a hot second, but... Uh, he's just on. Brutal, man. Brutal. What a way to go down to the Schweizer Cup Final. Could not stop Bradley Fink. Just cannot stop him. I don't know what it is. We played really well. Couldn't get a goal. We got a lot of time, though. So maybe we'll get a goal or two. Like, they just, uh... Yeah, they have a lot of high-intensity sprints, too. They're, they're playing really well. You know, like, I can't really fault them a whole lot today. Carboni, though, with a hell of a header. There we go. Right when I was just thinking, like, well, we're, we're kind of spiraling out a little bit, but there's a bit of life. A bit of life. We need Brody Hughes on, though. I know that much. And Bomba can stay. Mendes, yeah, he's not really the best... As far as I'm just kind of thinking ahead. Because we can bring on Nomadi Collins. Boom taking is better. Hey, let's see what he can do. Him and Phillips can play well, yeah. So, uh, we'll go with that. Oscar staying. Alexander's gonna... St it's tough, because Alexander, I mean, he's good in the air. He's, he's pretty solid in the air for somebody that's 5'10", but... It's just, it's not looking like his day right now, but you feel like you should have faith in him. Because Corbani wasn't having a good day until just now, but maybe just having, bringing Fatua might be the right call. Bring some fresh legs out there. And, uh, yeah, I think I will do it for the first three. What a great cross, though, from Teo. I mean, that was beautiful. All right, to Carboni, gets the header in, and we're off to the races. Oh, God, we gotta go about off of very attacking. Uh, just go with attacking. I mean, that's that was great to see. Oh, my God, Teo, is he gonna score again? Are we gonna get something going again? No, that's a terrible pass. I'm liking it, though. I'm liking the intensity. I'm liking it. Slugger clears it, though. God damn, really fools on sends it. We might tie him. We just might. That's a great cross. Fatwa's got it. Think he's on. Terrible shot, though. God damn it. Oh, he's offsides anyways. Didn't matter. 
Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I mean, at least he's doing something. <laughs> I mean, uh, poor Alexander, he, he was nowhere near it. Yeah, Sav wasn't really passing the ball well anyways. We're just kind of now thinking ahead to the penalties. If we can tie it up here, we got a chance to at least send it to extras. Got a chance. There we go, Majic. Go the other way. Come on, Oscar. You get a fucking move on. Fatwa's at least got his head out of his head. What are we doing, Fatwa? Oh my god, that was the worst pass ever. Somehow, we've maintained possession. Somehow, Oscar's... Oh my... That was it. That was fucking it. I cannot believe he passed that. He had nobody in front of him. Oscar has the only guy in front of him, and he sends it to him. Just makes no goddamn sense. Nobody's there for the fucking header. Don't like that at all. We need to score off of those set pieces, fellas. What is it looking like out there on the set piece while I'm thinking about it? What do we got? Oh my god, we got a whole lot of bullshit going on. First of all, Brody Hughes, um, come short. Yeah, we need somebody to come short. I don't know if he's the best guy for that, but yeah, sure. And Bomba should probably be the near post. Oh, God, now now he's got him as the taker. Fucking Christ. Uh, where's... Oh, this is all over the goddamn place. We're missing so There he is. I'm about to say, he's somewhere around here. All right. Uh, Tony Macic. We'll have him go... Somewhere, fuck. It's Oscar. There he is, I about to say he's probably back over here. Let's have him attack the ball. Oh my god. I hate that we have to do this. Alright, fuck it. It's, it's just fucked. <laughs> just, it's fucked. It is what it is. 12 shots, 5 on target, 10 shots, 5 on target. Basically a dead even game. We'll definitely play better here in the second half. Please win it. Fuck. Ah, uh, Bradley Fink. Tackle him hard. Go for the legs. Go for the ankles. <laughs> Fuck him up. If we're gonna win, we gotta win dirty. Fuck it. Oscar, still with a 6.3. Not a great game. Not a great game for him. Oh, please get there. Okay. Oh, he's offside. Well, let's kind of see how Oscar can do in this role. As a midfielder. So we need something. We, we kind of need something to fill the, the void there. Uh, we should probably actually have him be on attacking. Just change that while I'm thinking about it. Please be a foul. Oh, more sending it. A shadow striker is not a terrible idea, but let's try the attacking midfielder for now. That way someone's there. Again, to fill the void. Bradley Fink. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't like the amount of Basil jerseys that are up here. Oh, that's a terrible pass. Brody Hughes, please make a good pass. That is not a good pass. We gotta get possession back. Got to, got to, got to. There we go. Alright, very attacking again. Once there's a dead ball. That way we can at least tie it. Now the cons have played pretty well so far. I mean, listen, we... It's kind of funny, Oscar's the only guy that's played like shit, and he's the one guy I don't want to take off, because... Just, you know, in case we do... Oh, there it is. There it fucking is. Shoot it! Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Not sure why they're calling offsides on that. I'll be fucking furious if that's offsides. There's just no way. Yeah, I was about to say. That was the easiest onside goal ever. <laughs> Beautiful, though. That, I mean, that's sometimes you just need a little change of scenario. You just need a little change. Actually, I don't even think it was actual change by the time we did that, but that's all right. 2-2. Two, two. Gotta hang on. Uh, let's... Let's waste time while we're thinking about it. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, oh, boop. Oh. oh, shit. I kind of forget what was there. Uh, let's just can let's just cancel. Okay, it was more express. I was like, I think that was there. Didn't want to fuck that up. 
So, uh, yeah, I got two more subs, so now, gotta be smart. Got to be smart with it. Ashley Phillips has played really, really well today. However, we might have to sub him off. Let's see, because I, I think he's on a great penalty. Oh, he's, he's actually a really good penalty taker. Eight? It's pretty solid to have. Nico's pretty good at an eight, too, I believe. Oh, it's a nine. Well, shit. This has changed some things. Do we drop back to, um, back four? Oh, man, that's... I feel like that'd be a mistake. Modric is tired, but, again, Modric is a pretty solid penalty taker. I mean, Muzombo's probably the, the best case scenario to just take off. You know, so, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Bring on Nico and... Yeah, well, Nico be the roaming playmaker, I guess. He's a pretty good pass. He's, he can do, like, everything, so that's not bad. So it's either going to be Sonny or Diego. I feel like Sonny's the better call as the, as the CD. I just feel like he gives us a better chance out there. So, yeah, that will be our five subs as Theodore is rooting us on. We've had a great second half, though. That is why we you, you can't give up. You can't give up. You cannot fault a bad first half because you we just saw from the statistics. It's like all right, we're gonna we're gonna get something going. Nice change of pace. We changed what we were doing. It's like all right, the counterattack's not working. Let's go with a vertical tiki taka since they seemed like they were prepared for what we wanted to do without the ball since we played really well off the ball the last game and that's just kind of the chess match. That is football, because you know that other manager is preparing, even though it's the computer in this case, but they still, you know, the, the people at SI, they did a you know, pretty good job of being able to, like, you're not going to be able to do the same thing over and over uh, against the same team. It's just not going to happen. They're at least going to be prepared for it. They're looking to float the cross, and that's an interesting decision. They've done okay in, as far as with headers. Oh, Carboni! Holy shit! 3-2, all right. Well, now, we are in a fantastic... Fantastic position. Fatwa being the super sub of the day. Fantastic. That is just fucking brilliant. Brilliant. Full steam ahead. Two goals in three minutes. We've done a really, really good job. And Brody Hughes with a good pass. Deflected it off of that. That was great. The Kobani to be there. Right place, right time. Fuck you, Bradley Fink. Fuck you. I would change something to go, like, with cautious or something, but honestly, I don't want to fuck up nothing here. I, we, we're doing a good job as far as dominating possession here in the second half. Sure, the whole possession as a whole, it's 55-45. That's fine. This second half, I think we've been the much better team. You could see it with a bit of the momentum, just by the way we've been scoring and having good shots. Brody Hughes might have another assist here. If Modric can head it over, ah. I'm just glad Slugger kind of let up a little bit here in the second half. Because having three goals and a half is major. Absolutely major. 26,000 in attendance as well. That's a lot of fucking people sending it deep. Once Bradley Fink comes off, I think we'll be safe. But he still, I think, is on the pitch. Fatwa's not winning that. But that's okay, Brody Hughes again. Right place, right time. He's been another guy. That's been major in us being able to take this lead. Fuck! I thought we were going to get another one. Yeah, that's the thing. If Sab and Carboni's not playing well, you got to try somebody else. And, and Hughes coming on is playing much better. Much, much better. He's literally been... It's a night and day difference. But they're looking to make something out of this. they still got some time. Still got about 20 minutes or so. They're moving the ball down the fucking right side here, this pitch. Looking to send it. It's the floated cross. That's why we have Mickey Van's ass out there. He snagged that out of the air. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Fatwa, if he can make this to make it 4-2. Oh, that's a hell of a header. Header to header. Ah, fuck. Clears it. It's Brody Hughes to Carboni. Carboni should be on. He's not going to win that, though. Sonny's there. Get the ball out of Sonny's... Yes. <laughs> he does not need to have that on the offensive end. 
Oscar's off, anyways. Yeah, it's yeah, free kick. Fuck. And just sometimes you just gotta understand. Oh, Magic was off. Well, shit. Wrong guy off. But hey, I figured we played pretty well so far. 11 to 6 for their shots, 14 to 7 to ours. Almost 50 50 for them. They just haven't had, you know, a little bit over 50 50. We're right at 50. Uh, but uh, Fatwa hopefully wins that. Oh my god, he does. Tamajic. All right, you cannot call that offsides. God damn it. Brutal. Fucking brutal. I mean, it's weird. Oh, to throw in over here. Please clear that. That's why we have Mbamba out there. Uh, we should do well as far as to clear this off with this corner. I, I trust our, our guys out there. It sucks we don't have Ashley Phillips, though, but Sonny should do well. Should do well. Here it comes. There it goes. The lead taketh away. God damn it, man. That's what we get for not having Ashley Phillips out there. He doesn't clear it. I was that Bertie Hughes on that side. Who was that? Let's see. Because that should have been an Umbamba clearance. Should have been a Sunny clearance. And eh, we're not going to know. I think it was Brody Hughes. Brody's a little taller, though, than Sab, so I just... I can't believe that. Well, 3-3. What a goal. Majic hopefully wins this. Goddamn. Well, this Basel team just won't quit. Just won't fucking quit. Crazy. Thought they were left for dead. And they come out after we go up to take the game back in their hands. Unreal. Oh my god, are they gonna get four? He about fucking did. Unreal, thank god he's off. God damn it, I, I thought he was on too. That, that was really close. Teo is tired. A lot of guys are tired up front, but... And now we gotta think of who's gonna be the sub... I mean, we might have taken Bamba off, which is just very unfortunate. Because, again, he's one of our best penalty takers. But at this rate, oh my god, oh. I, I just can't believe it. Can't believe that we have fallen apart like this after having such a great turn of events in the second half. Did he get a little bit of that? Yeah, just Nico, man. He, he, I just feel like, oh, and then we're off sides. All right. Hopefully Mbamba can make this good pass. Oh, yeah. Nobody's even close. Carbani had to just get that right by the hug line, though. To Teo now. They're ready for it, though. Good header. Majic hopefully takes a good pass to... Oh, that's Oscar up front. All right, well, I wouldn't have done that. I would have hoping that was going to go. Oh, it's going to be a corner. Never mind. He must have stepped right on the line when he caught it. Yep, coming short. Sonny, nope. That would have been nice. Score off that set piece. And Bamba's going to keep possession, though, for this side of the pitch. It's a hell of a tackle. Going to be a throw in. Man, oh, man. Brutal. Uh, what is Nico? Is the rolling playmaker. Uh, let's have him be a ball-winning midfielder. We need something. We need something to give us a bit of an edge here the last 15-odd minutes or so. Maybe that'll be it. Maybe he'll get a tackle to send the ball our way. Majic hopefully wins it. Holy shit! I think it bounced to Carbani too. I think that will go in. Hope a uh, uh, Majic wasn't off. Uh, if there was somebody off, it was Carbani. Holy shit, we might have stole it at the end. Yeah! Let's fucking go. Alright, we're going... We're going defensive. <laughs> it was the Carbani. That was fucking perfect. Bum-bum. Bum-bum. Beautiful cross, beautiful headers. All the way around. All right, all right. Let's see. Let's have Teo be on defensive. 
Yes, clear it, clear it, clear it. Ooh. Oh no! Magic with a handball! Fuck, man! God! Damn it, Magic! Can't be doing that. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh yeah, Brody Hughes will be wing back. Defend. Yes, yes, yes. Just gotta hang on. I'll tell you, I might have a good chance. To Brody Hughes, well. Alright, that's gonna be a corner. Boy, what a well-deserved victory. What a fucking hard-fought game. Coming back down 2-0 to then go up to 3-2 to then tie it at 3-3 to go back up to 4-3. What a second half, though. I mean, so many goddamn goals in this half. Nico might just... Oh, no, that's going to be a corner again. 18 shots, 8 on target. Brilliant. Just fucking brilliant. Couldn't be more proud. Couldn't be more proud of the boys winning the Schweizer Cup, potentially. <laughs> At least for if they score, it's not going to be over. But uh, it'll just have to go to extras. But I think we're going to hang on to it. Don't think there's been a lot of fouls this half. Hopefully it's only a couple of minutes over of extra time. Yeah. Hopefully. Oh my god, Majic. He's got a chance. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I want to make sure that attacking-wise, we're not so far up. Stay back. Um, yeah, Sonny, stay back. Good call. Good call. Hopefully, if it's going to be a corner, it's on that right side. Oh, we should probably do that on uh, the defensive side, too. But luckily, we're going to waste some time here. Good fucking call. Yes. Sonny can go up here. Edge of the... Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, yeah, that's fine. Sure, just two guys back there. Yes, to Malar. Yes, yes, yes. Corbani. Yes, Machic. Good shit. Oh, my God, we might score. Oscar, good pass here to Fatawa. Come on! What a fucking tackle. Oh, he's offside. God damn it. Oscar had the pass. He was just taking forever to pass it. Well, shit. I mean, at least that should do it. We hang on to win at least the Schweizer Cup. Now, we're going to win the Swiss Super League is the question. Actually, I shouldn't speak so soon because they got a chance to make something happen. Thank God he's offsides again. That was a bit of a weird offsides call. Because I think he was on, but we're not going to challenge it too much. It sucks we had to take Alexander off, because obviously with him being eligible for this and not for the actual uh, Swiss, uh, as far as the, the finals of the uh, champions, you know, the playoff, it sucks that that's going to be the case, but hopefully we're going to play pretty well here. So we can wrap this up. Oscar can maybe make this 5-3. Nope. I mean, their defense has played... It's weird. They've had a pretty good defensive game, but they've given up four goals. And I wouldn't say the same thing for us. Uh, we had a pretty abysmal... Well, you know, as I say that, I think we had a good second... That second half, though, we just were the completely dominant team. They were not ready for what we wanted to do. They could not stop us. I think we're going to do this again. I don't think they're going to be ready for it again. Because I think they're going to be prepared for the counterattack again. And I just think we're the much better attacking team. We have too many options. They just have Bradley Fink. If we stop Fink, we stop them. You know, it would have been 1-4 to four if it wasn't for Bradley Fink. You know, it just is what it is. If we stop him, they don't score. We gotta force Millar to score. Even their other, you know, the, the uh, not eat goal. Like, that was still a crazy one to go off of a header. You know, that, that might not have even been in, but here we go. We did it. Down 2 0 at the half. Fuck them. Yeah. Schweizer Cup. The first of hopefully many. Yeah. Love it. We've won something. <laughs> that was not... Well, we did win the Swiss League last year, so it's the second thing we won. 
with the OBSC young boys. Yeah, come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a neutral site, though. There's a lot of yellow jerseys out there. I'm seeing them. A lot of yellow kits in the crowd. Good shit. Good shit. Well, that's out of the way. Now, can we complete it? Can we go on to win the Swiss Super League now against Basel? We're about to find out shortly in the, uh, what, the, the third of five matches in a row? Brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Alrighty, we are just potentially 90 minutes away from completing the double <laughs> as far as in the uh, Swiss world. That'd be huge. That would be huge. If we win, we're crowned champions. It's just that simple. So it is, uh, so it shall be, you know, as far as, but this is going to be a tough game for sure. It's going to be a very, very tough game. So the idea for what we're going to try to do, it's kind of be a unique idea. Because with this game, we're going attacking. Reason why. I figured if we score five goals, six goals, we ain't got to worry about shit. <laughs> you know? If they score, you know, three, four, five goals, hey, that's fine. But as long as we score six, you know, as long as we get just one more ahead of them or tie them, perfect. That's all I'm asking for. So I'm letting the boys go full tilt with attacking. Let them go after it. Look for goals as much as we can. Uh, yeah, we want to have Tao be on attacking. Yeah, and I think we'll be good to go here. But yeah, I mean, so familiarity-wise, it's a little bit better being on positive, but we need to score. And we just need to keep on scoring. That's the plan. It's a weird game plan to kind of go into where you're not really ex wanting to dominate the game possession-wise or anything like that. I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> I just care about having more points than them. If they score a shit ton of goals, let them score a shit ton of goals. That's fine by me. Because we're going to be scoring a shit ton of goals as well. That is the idea. I mean, this is, uh, is going to be an interesting game. Interesting game. To, to win this at home, too, would be major. Absolutely major. But we can't, uh, can't be lackadaisical with it. We just can't be, you know, because they're still a good team. Still a, a really, really good team. So, you know, we got to be, uh, be in our best behavior, for sure. I think that was their best team, though. I think that was their best team that we played against just now. At least I'm hoping that was the case. Because I think kind of like us where they have guys that are not registered for the Super League that they were able to use to, to really uh, put their best football out there. Let's see what Sab can do. Getting the ball. Carbani. Uh, so, I was like, oh man, we might be able to get something right off the rip. Obviously Slug is going to be a tough guy to beat if, he, and if we do in fact beat him. See what we get, Oscar to Phillips to Carbani. Ah, oh, that would have been huge to get another header like that for Carbani. Would have been massive. Already liking the the game plan now. We start off with the ball, we dominate, we attack. Full, I mean, just two minutes in, already loving what I'm seeing. Yeah, they're gonna get possession a little bit, but again, as long as we. Keep it at a 50-50 or 45-55. I'll take it. It's when it gets into like the 30, 70, or even the 80, 20 categories when we really are not needing that for a game like this where we just need to score. They need to score. We need to score. Who needs to play fucking defense? You know, it's kind of the idea with this leg. Because you guys have got nothing to lose. Because if, if shit goes wrong for us... We still got a third game. And Mozambo might just make this an easy one. He does. Perfect. That is what we want. Easy goal. Easy shot. Maybe we should have done this for the Schweizer Cup. But again, it was weird with the Schweizer Cup. Because at least we were just pushing for a draw at times. It's either we push for the draw or we get the win. Here we're already up 1-0. Now we're up 2-0 basically. 
Because we won the first leg. So this is just, you know, brilliant for us. To be able to have that type of freedom, really. Because it's not like you combine the scores, right? It's not... It doesn't really matter about that. It, you know, since we won that first game, fuck, it's smooth sailing. You know, as far as we just need to win. Or draw, but, you know, hopefully win. Here, the, the, basically the pressure's on them. Pressure's more on them than it is on us. So we can play with a lot of freedom. And so far, that has went really, really well. And again, I, I just don't think they were ready for what we were trying to do with this vertical tiki-taka. I think they were ready for a counter-attack approach again, and yeah, we were not doing that. So just mind games. <laughs> mind games for El Basil. But uh, yeah, I mean, Basil, they... If this was real, obviously, they would have been like, oh, they're definitely going to try to do this in the second half. You know, like, you know, they'll definitely want to play like they did towards the end of that last game. So, you know, prepare for that. And just was not the case. Was not the case. They still go with that 4 4 2 diamond narrow approach that hasn't worked for the past fucking eight games against us. Sab. If Oscar wins that header, oh my god, that about that was almost two now, just like that. I mean, shit, the way this is going, we might be crowned champions at the half <laughs> if we score like we have been. We just been rolling away with it. Damn, I thought Taylor was gonna win that too. Well, shit, uh, let's go with uh, let's go with key highlights. Fuck it, since we're just killing them. Might as well, right? Might as well get it to the end, to where we get to see us holding up the silverware yet again. Oh, well, 15 minutes up, gone by, no shots for Basil. You can just see the average positioning, too. We're so far up the pitch compared to them. I mean, just dominating the game. Absolutely what I've been striving for for the past fucking five games against them. And every time it just hasn't happened. But now we finally do it. The game that matters most to us too. Nico might just make this an easy little shot for Majic. Just barely missed it. Not far wide though. I will say that. That was not far wide at all. Yeah, I mean again, we are just... Doing what we need to do to win this game. I'm so many shots on this left hand side, as you can see. The you know that's been pretty interesting. Man, a throw in on oh, on this side again. This is just complete domination. Header for Majic. It fucking goes in. Two nil. Brilliant. 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 Not a lot of teams that can stop us. It just is what it is. And as far as we, we're now going to be, especially going into the next year, we've almost tripled our value as far as what we kind of have to spend on the club. We usually have around 10 million, 15 million. We got around 50 right now going into the new year. So uh, that's going to be pretty massive to have. That type of advantage over other clubs. Because really, it comes down to Basel and St. Gallen, you know, as far as their our only competition. And, you know, they're, they're, you know, St. Gallen play really, really well. But now you just see with Basel, we just completely dominated them. Wasn't even close. Not even close here. Which is fascinating, because usually th these games don't go like this against Basel. Usually it's actually competitive and pretty back and forth. Uh, not this time around. It might be 3-0. It is. Yeah. Yeah, it is. All right, so what we're going to do <laughs> is uh, stop the recording, show off us winning it all, and yeah, just having fun with it, but this is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. We could have used this for the fucking... I would have took the game that we just had here, and I would have much rather have this game for the Schweizer Cup, but we'll take it. What a fucking performance. Well, shit, shockingly... They scored. They got a penalty. And that was his first goal of the year. That is just fucking hilarious that Nico 
was able to uh, bring up a penalty shot for him. But we're going to win now. We, at least that was a, a fun way to end out with, uh, you could see the momentum. We basically dominated the entire game. Love it. And we, in fact, go back, do back. Not only that, we win it with the Schweizer Cup in the same season. Uh, fantastic. I think it is pretty fair to say that we have dominated Switzerland. SBSC Young Boys. Hell yeah. We well, did it. At home, too, which was nice. I'm glad we get to win at home. After being at the neutral site, obviously, for the Schweizer Cup Final. Yeah, you get to see the same goddamn thing again. <laughs> it's not like it's anything different. But, uh, yeah, that will do it for this episode for Season 3 in the books in a positive way. Boy, this could have went in a whole completely different way, though. I'd have been cool if we even won the Schweizer Cup Final and then lost this. That would have been fine. Actually, that would have been fine by me, but... To win both of them, awesome. It would also would have been pretty hilarious if we bottled it and lost both of them. Like, that would have been pretty, pretty great to see. But yeah, I mean, it's hard to believe we even scored again after the 3-0 uh, halftime score. What an achievement. What an achievement. And hard to believe, like, 99% of this team's coming back. Yeah, the double. Yeah. But yeah, you know, as far as because Oscar's coming back. Uh, Carbani's coming back. Modric is coming back. Uh, I think Muzambo is coming back too. Like they're uh, literally just like everybody that scored today is coming back. Uh, you know, as far as Mickey Van's ass will be back for most of the year. Then we'll have somebody else probably come in. Probably, uh, uh, you know, there's there's been a couple of different goalkeepers we have options with, so that's nice to to see. But uh, yeah, just wild, wild to think of the team we have assembled. And it's only going to get better. Only going to get better. Because as you know, we talked about earlier, we have a lot of money at our dispense. And uh, as far as I think the value of the team has gone significantly up at $217 million still. Around what it needs to be. But yeah, we have $37 million in the bank right now. We're paying around $15 million for the payroll, which is not bad. I'm hoping we get a little bit more here with this uh, winning of the Super League. I think we we get something out of it. Um, we should get something out of it, hopefully. But yeah, back-to-back uh, -back titles for us. As far as Amazonbo gets a fucking bonus. Everyone's getting bonuses. How fun. Yeah, we're one of the best American coaches in the world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, leading the glory. All the, all the jazz. Yeah. I mean, just obviously, we're already, you know, the most dominant team. In Switzerland, we, you know, I think BSC Young Boys, even before we took over, we were, in fact, that team. And to do it with such a young squad is, is pretty fun, though. Pretty, pretty fun. Majic, yeah, 19 years old, coming back. Coming back. And to think we have uh, yeah, 19, 20, 19, 90, yeah, everybody coming back here from this up. Crazy. And then to, uh, you know, Tails gone. Fatwa will probably be gone for the most part. I think he turns 22 by the time the season starts. Same thing for Amenda. Same thing for Khans and Nico. But to think we have so many people waiting in the wing, waiting to come up. Diego, I believe, had just, yeah, he had recently turned 21, but he'll probably be, you know, as far as he'll, he'll play a good bit of the year with us, luckily. Not bad. Not bad to think we only have, what, five 21-year-olds? Is that right? Oh, God, we have more than that. Hell, yeah. That, Rhodes, no one signed him. Nico, let's see, four, yes, five, six, seven. And out of that, four or five of them are leaving? Not bad. Not bad at all. So that is it for Season 3. And hopefully Season 4, we can make a hell of a run. It's so funny, you still have to play this last game. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do as far as how we're, we're going to go about it. If we're just going to sit like everybody or... I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. It's super funny you have to play them though. you think they would just kind of, you know, they, they'd let it go. But <laughs> what do I know? As uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Take care, everyone.